I'll do this really fast, okay? Boom. Do, 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 do. My name is Rafe. Boom. We have a job to Boom. Boom. All right, let's do this. One more time. Oh, let's go. No excuse. Mac, no. I'm fucking tabbed out right now. Give me a sec. Okay. Beast was free, but never mind. Is that this is what I'm thinking the tier list is right now for this patch. Like, actually, maybe Loba, like, hmm. I'll make this for ranked, actually. Hang on. I'll make two. One for ranked and one for, uh, comp. So for ranked, this top five is still S tier. Then, Blood, Path, Wraith, Catalyst, Lifeline, Newcastle. Um... Horizon's gonna say D tier, Ash is D tier, Revenant's D tier, Octane's D tier, Mirage is C tier, Vantage is C tier, Watson is E, Rampart is C, Cryptos B, Caustic B, Giddy B, Fuse, a Fuse in A tier. It's ranked. This is ranked. And then for comp, I'm actually just gonna refresh. Okay. Not like and, then, and then for comp, Not for a rod game. Now here's comp tier list, right? Let me just relook at this. Just think. It will move Wraith down to A. Sears not S here anymore. Sears still insane. But if you if actually you actually know how to use here, then like <laughs> he's the same character. Sears just not a noob character anymore. Mac, are you not really doing like rank grinds somewhere? Like to get like an actual rank number? Uh, the past like season and a half, I haven't. Mm. I've just been playing to play. Like when Tarkov came out, kind of thing. Uh, no, I just like I just haven't cared about it because the system was bad. Yeah, it's like getting old. I think. I just like WQ to WK. Yeah. Explain why Sears S tier in both charts, please. Have you been watching this ESA at all? I'm no, sorry. I haven't. No. It's the same reason Sears was S tier last season. His his kit is just too good. Sear, fundamentally, well. Sear is too good. His kit is still too good. This is for comp. This is my initial reaction two days into the patch. This is what I expect comp to be. Because my, the meta, so the, man, I'll make a fucking text document. So the comps that I expect to be played is like Wraith with Valk slash, or no, Crypto slash Watson. Valk, Crypto, Watson, Valk, Gibby. Now Valk, Gibby, Caustic probably won't get played. Valk, Seer, Bang, Valk, Seer, Cat. Like, that's pretty much, like, the primary comps I see happening. On Edge, though, I think we'll see, like, Valk, Maggie, Maggie, Seer, maybe. I don't know. Like, Maggie fits in with, like, some weird comps. Actually, no. Valk, Maggie, Seer would be bad. It'd be Wraith. It'd be this one. Valk, Ma uh, Wraith, Maggie, Caustic. This is, like, a really good dynamic comp. Bang is still great. Like, Bang can be used with Crypto, too. I just don't know if it'd fit better with Wraith or, or Valk. I want to say Wraith is a zone team, but like Bang from zone is kind of weird. So I don't I don't think it's better than, than Watson or Caustic. I think Blood Nerf was justified. It's not a nerf, it's a rework. It's kind of a nerf, but his whole play style is different. He does think, he, his whole his whole everything is different. It's I, I see it more as a rework than a nerf or a buff. Who said he had to do something, right, Mac? The brew at the six months, appreciate it. Yeah, he's taking up the trash. Yeah, I'm just making a tier list right now. Tier list of what, Legends? Yeah, for comp. I did a ranked one, now I'm doing a comp one. Mm. You wanna pull it up, you can see what I'm thinking. Like my a, my S and A tier is what I think people will like, these will be like the staples in comp this patch. And then B tier is like, I think we'll see some niche teams run it. And then C tier is like, they're experimenting. Like is S like a combo or like it's guaranteed to be used? Like you know anything, I mean? like any of the characters that are in S or A tier, I think, I think teams will use. Yeah, I think some teams will be using them in some kind, in some iteration in the meta. And then yeah. B tier, I think people, like those are the niche picks. And then C tier and below is all just experimenting. Like if yeah. people are still playing Horizon, they're trying to see if she's still good. Vantage Path is pure experimentation and so is Gibby. And then anything below is like, you're kind of smoking dicks. You think Gibby's C? Yeah, because of, because of Maggie and Seer. I, th I still think Seer is S tier. Yeah, but let's say in a lobby where there's not a lot of Maggie. If there's not a lot of Maggies and there's not a lot of Sears, then yeah, Gibby's fine. But there's if there's a lot of cryptos, but if there's no. a lot of cryptos, Gibby's still bad. Like he has three characters that I think are in the S and A tier that all counter him. 
Mm -hmm. That's why I don't think Gibby will be very yeah. good. So what do you think counters Gibby? Only Maggie and what? Maggie, Seer, and Crypto. Maggie, Seer, Crypto, yeah. I think all three of them give him a Ooh, really hard time. Really yeah, Crypto will see on Edge more often. I think, is... I think you'd see Seer as Edge. Yeah. What I'm yeah. what I'm predicting is Crypto Wraith Watson as like the primary zone comp. Just so like, you know, you have Crypto hitting recon beacons, you can see what's open guaranteed and you instantly Wraith portal to it. Um, I think there's gonna be Crypto Bang Wraith. As crazy as that sounds. Crypto Bang Wraith. I think that one can work really well too. Red. For Edge. Mm -hmm. It sounds crazy. I think, I think Valk is better than Wraith for Edge. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Like, I I've learned playing next to IGLs for so long, whether it's like Sweet even in like a tournament or something. It's mm -hmm. like having Valk and the option of Valk gold is sometimes like not wanted. Like, it's like weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, you, you understand what I mean by that? It's like they'd rather go all in with that or just like bank on Valkold. Like having like a plan like Valkold 70, 80%. Because it's yeah. impossible to just be like, all right, let's just Valkold with nothing else to do. When something else to do could be just trying to figure some out. And then in hindsight, it works out. Yeah, like playing know? for the KP, yeah. Uh, makes sense. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. point I was I was three crafting bang bang crypto, but I wasn't sure if it'd be viable on edge. I think bang makes it viable, but if you run into like I think if you run into Sears or you run into a Maggie, it can get pretty hard. I think Catalyst will be really good on edge, like like yeah. bang catalyst with like Valk. And maybe not perfect maybe not macro. bang catalyst, maybe Sear Catalyst. Yeah. What do you think perfect macro will be on edge from like one of the four edge PIs? And on like every map is generalized. You think perfect macro is gonna be like crafting gas still? I don't like know if it's crafting gas. I know, like well, with the way that the recon beacons work, like, I think edge teams are gonna run Seer, right? And you can only hit a recon beacon mm -hmm. once per game. So you can't really, like, stay stationary Wait, and what? keep hitting it. Yeah, you can only hit the recons once per game. No, once per game. Really? I've hit it twice in one game. The same I'm beacon? Gonna, not the same exact yeah, The same beacon. beacon. The same not beacon the can only be one. hit once. I didn't know that. But, like, let's say you hit Harvester beacon with Bloodhound, right? You scan where everyone is. Then you go to Siphon Beacon after the next ring closed, yeah. and then you hit that. That works? Yeah, that works. Right. You can't hit the same beacon? Yeah, you can't hit the same beacon multiple times. Mm, I, so I, was, I was running Crypto trying that because I left my drone at a beacon and we were just fighting, and you can't hit it. Crypto would be really good if you could do that. Crypto would be like way better than other ones. I think they did that specifically for Crypto. Yeah. You think just Crypto can hit the same beacon? Because it's just so easy to do it, you know? It's like if a team's Maybe. playing a spot, let's say, in, in like, let's say they're early rotate team and they hit recon zone one, then they're not, they're probably not gonna move if they guess the zone right, you know, with Watson combo because they're early rotate. Then their only option is that same beacon, unless they're lucky as fuck and have another beacon. But then that's every other crypto in the area too, so it doesn't matter. It's just scaled information. You know what I mean by that? So I can yeah. see why crypto could be singled out for that perfectly. Maybe. I think, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think, it, I think, it'd be, I don't know if they'd go that deep and. I mean, it's a great thought. Think about it, Loki. It makes sense because like yeah, crypto does. usually hit the same beacon. Yeah, know? it makes Pretty sense. Cool. I, I just don't know if the devs would actually think that deep into it. Yeah. It I'm does make sense though. Fish farms? It's like definitely. I want the boy ash and fish farms. I don't think there's gonna be any fucking. Why is crypto bang good? Because crypto drone can see through the smoke. You just throw your Q in it. They can't see your drone, but you can see them. Why don't you like Loba? Uh, I like you? Loba. I just think she'll be niche. Being like you have to be with the right team to be good there, kind of thing. It's just like some teams will utilize her some well. I, I just think that she's like, the support passive isn't that valuable in comp. It holds a lot more value in ranked. Mm -hmm. um, like her ult is still great, right? Like Loba's Loba. So like she's still good, but not a lot of teams yeah. used her to begin with. So I don't see why they would pick her up now just because she has a support buff. There's pretty good NA teams that use Lobo. Yeah, but there's like three or four. It's like, it's, it was like 100 Thieves, NRG, uh, NRG uh, X set. That was it. Well, I mean, why did and Psycho. I mean, they, Psycho oh. ran them too. Yeah. I mean, those three teams are almost half the teams that made land, right? Three out of 10, let's say, whatever. Oh, and MPS, Madness, Pound, and Shuby. They, they didn't qualify for land, but they did well. They got like 14th or 13th. But like, still, it shows that, you know, four of the top 13 teams you yeah. know, used Lobo and did well with it on one map. Not yeah. Lobo. But, yeah, um, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's just like interesting. Because yeah. I know NRG uses on Storm Point. I rename this. Bangalore and Seer together is just like the wave. The real like RP farmage is like Bang Seer Valk or like Bang Seer Loba. Why is Maggie an S? She's as strong as fuck. Maggie's strong as fuck in fighting. Horizon and D for ranked. Horizon's, yeah, D for dog shit. She's bad. Watson and E. Watson and ranked is, okay. Quick tip for people who might struggle to get RP. The rank system favors going for kills, 
And characters like Watson, who are one-dimensionally defensive, are horrible at going for kills, so therefore she's bad in the system itself. This is just for ranked. Ash is also dog shit. Her kit is just bad. Ash is just a bad legend. Just outright, she's just not a good character. And uh, then for comp, this is my comp tier list. And this one, I don't even really need to say anything. I got the fucking the things here. 